Welcome back. This is uh, episode seven of our LVI update. And today um, we're going to take a look at uh, nameplates. This is going to be a fairly short one. Um, as you can see, um, there are nameplates for NPCs, enemies, um, healer, and then you have your general options and player frames. So the first thing that we're going to look at is the general options. Now, when you open up your LVI and select nameplates, what you're going to see is this right here. If you click on general options, it's going to take you here. But first, before you do that, you need to enable your nameplates so that they will show up over your uh, players. Now, if you look at the hosen in the distance, there is no nameplate over that. There's no nameplate over this critter right here. Um, and I don't have a nameplate over me. And that's intentional on the way that I set this up. And I'll show you how I did that and why as we go through this, uh, this guide. So the first thing, after you enable it, you can set um, you know, this, the texture for your bar. I use cloud, and I use that on all of my bars, so I usually use this. Um, once you set that, you can take a look at your uh, nameplate uh, motion type. So what I do is I usually stack them vertically. Um, you can have them overlap, but I think they get in the way of each other. And if you want to click on them to in so that you can target that individual or that NPC, then having them overlap may be difficult for you to actually click on that one. And then you have display style. Um, this controls which nameplates will be delayed will be displayed. So you can have just your target quest um, only show target. Um, I put all and then I control it another way inside of these. So the next one is show NPC title and this will give you the title of that NPC. Uh, clamp nameplates. What that does is if you have one of those huge bosses, the nameplate will be at the top, so you can actually click on it and you can, you can see it while you're actually in the middle of the fight. Um, low health threshold. This controls the colors. So in it, it, for me, it is my health bars are set to green, so the nameplate health is set to green. When it gets down to 40, it'll be red. And you'll see it start changing colors throughout um, enemy um, enemy combat toggle um, is disabled controls enemy nameplate toggles um, toggling on and off while in combat. So basically, what that does is it will show when you're in combat, but not when you're not. Um, and then you can do the same thing with friendly. Um, I, I don't control nameplates with these. I control them in here. Um, load distance. This is what I was talking about. That hosen right there, even though it's it, it would be considered an enemy NPC, there's no nameplate because I'm further away than 40 yards. If I was within 40 yards, let's see if I can get over there and get 40 yards. See how it popped up at 40 yards? All right, so it popped up at 40 yards uh, because I set the general load distance to 40 yards. And then um, this is clickable width is 150. And <clears throat> Excuse me. Clickable height is um, is fifty. Um, always show target health. Now I have this selected so that when it does show the the nameplate, it will show the health. Um, and by the way, the nameplates as you saw for this hosen was red. That was because he was enemy. You'll see yellow one on. Um, attackable but not hostile 
enemies, and then if you have your friendly up, you'll see green nameplates. Um, use target scale. So, tar and I enable this, and then you can set your scaling over here and non-targeted non transparency. So the scaling is at 115, so it gets just a little bit bigger. We could even change it to probably, I don't know, let's set it to 125. And then once you do that, it'll be 125%, which is larger than the other ones, so you know which ones you have targeted. And then the ones that are not targeted will have a 35% transparency. And then your only other option for general is to set whether per, um, your click-through is on personal, friendly, or enemy targets. As you can see, I don't use those. Again, I control everything within here. So inside, and I'm going to go through the player one, and the rest of these are exactly the same. So the first thing you have to do is enable it if you want um, player frames. As you can see, I do not have player frames enabled. Now, if you do, and even though um, it was showing, um, and you can toggle this off with V and Shift V, uh, which is your normal um, lizard one. So under general settings, we have uh, use static position. Um, and basically what this does is that um, it'll stay visible and locked. This is, again, this is player frame. This is not um, necessarily enemy frames. Um, and this is basically what this is talking about is yours. So if I enable it, it'll it'll put my nameplate. It'll use that the one that uh, Blizzard has. Um, but I haven't enabled that one. Um, and you can tell it to always show. So there's mine down here. It will always show. And then it will always show right there. Now the only problem is that I use tell me when. And if I have my tell me when icon showing, I can't see. I can't see that nameplate. So that's something you have to take into account. Um, so I have disabled these for that reason. And I don't really use it because I use this right here. Now, if you have your nameplates up here or your, your unit frames up top, and you don't have tell me when, then may, that may be something that you want to do. Um, and then you can display help with. And so if I was to enable this, let's go back to general. We'll say static always show. And then I could um, enable text. So there's your text there. And then you could change your format. on what you want to see. This is your health, don't forget. So because I am not losing health, let's see if I can lose some health. Where are we going? Okay, so I've just set this format for current max and then percent. And I can't fly because I am in Good luck, the Temple of the Five Dawns. So, if I could lose health, then the max percentage would drop, and you would see this number here change. And then for power, um, I can enable the text, which is here. Um, and then you could change your height of your text. So, maybe you want your health a little bit bigger so that you can have all of your text and it's a little bit more visible. So now I have 1.1 million mana and my health is at 4.2 million. And I have the text showing so I can actually see the number right there. Um, and then hide when empty. Well, I don't want it to hide when empty because if it's empty as a healer, that's, that's a bad thing and I need to know that. All right. 
Um, and I don't even think as a DPS it would uh, be a good idea to hide how much energy I have because if it's getting low, I want to still want to see it. Or if it's empty, I still want to see it. All right, so this is uh, your cast bar. So I can enable my cast bar so that, let's see, as you can see, my cast bar was enabled and you saw an icon over here. And again, you can go back and you can change the width and the, or correction the height. So let's say I want this to be 10. It's a little bit bigger and it says what I'm casting. So this is my mount that I keep casting. So that's what you're seeing. And it shows the information on that. Buffs and debuffs will show here as well. Um, I can tell it to display four. Um, icon base height is 18. Um, and then personal auras and boss auras. Um, maximum duration, 120 seconds. They go as high as 3,000. And the same thing with debuffs. No difference on this one. Speak of change without being willing to take action. And then the other thing we have is level. Do you want to show level? Okay, so that's my level right there. I know I'm 110, so I don't really need to see that. And then I can decide whether I want to use class color or not. So I put my name on there, as you can see, and I use my class color. However, I know my name, so why would I need to show my name? Okay. So that's it for those. Now, here's the other thing. Now you have your healer frames. These are all exactly the same. Okay. And you could set those. Uh, let me go into player frames and disable those, though, so I don't see them. Um, but the healer frames, you can do the same thing. Set the same things up, and you can change it to look a little bit different. Um, as you can see, um, I do have those enabled, but I really don't use them that much. Um, for friendly players, I have disabled and then for enemy um, enemy frames, those are enabled because I always want to see the enemy frames. Now, here's the thing. And, oh, I always see the healer icon. So here's the thing. If you set these up and you, and you determine that you want them all to look the same, all you have to do is copy. So let's say you want your enemy NPCs and your friendly NPCs to look the same. Then you set up either your enemy or your friendly, and you copy from that, and it'll set it up. You don't have to go and rebuild it all over again. And that's it. They're, they all have exactly the same. Um, because I don't have friendly NPCs enabled, I don't have these enabled. I don't have those available, but I do here for enemy players because those are enabled, and I want to see the healer icon. Um, and also I have, um, I display minions, so that's guardians, pets, totems, so on and so forth, and it'll, out in the world, and it'll show that information. And that could be useful, um, let's say, in um, arenas, I could, I could think of one example as a good thing to use. That's all there is to the, uh, to the nameplates. Um, the nameplates, remember, are referring to those plates that are over your the enemy enemy heads okay unit frames are a little bit different and actually i was considering um let's see skins are a little bit different and unit frames are a little bit different or tooltips are a little bit different we could do a quick one on skins and tooltips next time, and then the following one after that, we could talk about unit frames. And there are a lot of unit frames, but there's only a few that you have to set up, and then you copy from the other ones if you want to. All right, so 
that's all that I have for today. Uh, um, I, once again, if you would like to, um, if you have any comments, put them down below. Um, if you notice up top that I also added my Discord channel, which I have recently made public. Um, if you would like to stop in and I'm online and chat, um, just let me know. Jump in there. We'll uh, we'll see if we can. If I if there's something I can help you with, I will. If not, um, I'll try to point you in the right direction. Oh, one additional note. Um, LVY is only available for download of the base LVY. All of their other add-ons are not available right now, and you can only manually install LVY. Um, apparently, they had someone get their username and password and delete all of their files and all of their backups. However, one good note is they have decided to uh, completely rebuild it, get their forums up and running again. Um, so keep an eye out for that. I believe it's going to be the beginning of August is when they're going to be live again. Um, so. Um, if you want to go to their website, you can. Um, they could use some assistance. So if you want to donate, you can hit their website and donate through PayPal or whatever. Um, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Have a great day.